హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ ఆన్ ద హాప్ ఆఫ్ ఆన్లైన్ లెక్చర్ సిరీస్ ఆఫ్ కంపోజిట్ మటీరియల్స్ ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ పవార్ ఫ్రమ్ ఎస్ఎన్డి కాలేజ్ ఆఫ్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ అండ్ రీసెర్చ్ సెంటర్ దేవలా టుడే వీ డిస్కస్ ఆన్ ద టాపిక్ మెకానిక్స్ ఆఫ్ కంపోజిట్ మటీరియల్స్ ఇన్ అవర్ సిలబస్ ద జోమెట్రికల్ ఆస్పెక్ట్ దెన్ మెకానికల్ ప్రాపర్టీస్ then lamina then what is the what types of the unidirectional lamina are shown in the mechanics of composite materials topics we discuss on some topics one is the rules of the mixtures composites mixing then second one is the mechanical behavior of the composite materials see first is the rules of the mixture the young's modulus of the composite is given by rules of the mixture that is ec is equal to ef vf plus em vm also vm plus vf is equal to 1 or vm is obviously 1 minus vf that's why the elastic modulus along the fiber directions can be controlled by selecting the volume fractions of the fiber materials see the figure figure shows the box in which how the trays are shown by the sigma in second graphs the trays and the strain they show our graphs are showing in the rules of mixtures composite materials have their microstructure design in terms of the microscopic constituents there's examples of this which is fibers in a homogeneous matrix materials by controlling the choice of the fibers their volume fractions and alignment the mechanical properties may be tailored to meet specific design requirements the diagram shows unit axial fiber then pose for the composite materials and b shows how the stress on the composites carried by the fiber and matrix in the normal situation the fibers has a large young's modulus than the matrix and for the continuous fiber shown where the strain is same in the matrix and fibers the fiber stress is higher than the matrix stress the young's modulus of the composites is given by the rules of mixture that is ec is equal to ef vf plus em vm also vm plus vf is equal to 1 and obviously vm is equal to 1 minus vf the elastic modulus along the fiber directions can be controlled by selecting the volume fractions of the fibers the in c the rules of mixtures here shows upper bound and lower bound the proportions is between volume fractions and elastic modulus of the composites how the volume fractions proportion to the elastic modulus are shown in this graph both are the increase but some tilt in the right side for the rules of the mixture rules of mixtures are mathematical expressions which gives some property of the composites in terms of the properties quality and arrangement of its constituents they may be based on a number of simplifying assumptions and their use in the design should be tempered with extreme caution for the general composites total volume v containing masses of continuous or constituents ma mb mc the composites density is in the terms of density and volume of the constituents density but va divided by v is equal to v 
VA is the volume fractions of the constituents and hence for the special case of the fiber the enforcer matrix since VF plus VM is equal to 1. In material, sci material science, a general rules of the mix mixtures is uh, weighted means used to predict various properties of a composite materials. It provides a theoretical upper and lower bound on properties such as elastic modulus, mass density, ultimate tensile strength, thermal conductivity, and elastic conductivity. In general, there are two models, one for axial loading and one for transverse loading. In general, for some material properties, means for the elastic material C, the rules of mixture states that the overall property in the direction parallel to the fibers may be as high as rules of mixtures for composites EC is equal to F EF plus 1 minus F multiplied by EM where the F is equal to volume fractions of the fibers which is equal to VF divided by VF plus VM this EF and EM are the material properties of the fibers and matrix respectively. It is a common mistake to believe that this is the upper bound modulus of Young's modulus. The real upper bound Young's modulus is larger than EC. Given by this formula, even if both constituents are isotropic, the real upper bound EC is plus a terms in the order to square of the difference of the Poisson's ratio of the two constituents. Then the inverse rule for the mixture state that in the direction perpendicular to the fibers, the elastic modulus of the composites can be as low as EC is equal to F divided by EF plus 1 minus F divided by EM brackets this to minus 1 means which is the in the inverse this means 1 divided by this bracket if the property under study is the elastic modulus this call it quantity is called as the lower bound modulus and correspondent to transfer loading then next is the mechanical behavior of the composite materials in the previous lectures we have handled the mechanical properties then how we pick this property and uh, some implement are done due to mechanical properties or not are show. Now turn to mechanical behavior. In the typical structure of composites, multiple layers are stacked together with a particular sequences in order to give specific mechanical properties layers are organized with different angles different sequences and different technological processes to obtain a new and innovative materials we have researched the mechanical properties of these composite materials based on their tensile strength and vibration behavior respectively we have determined the characteristics for elastics modulus tensile strength, elongation at break specific frequency and damping factors. Thank you.